strategies to improve these three areas are now including the C-suite versus only being addressed by HR. For years, DEI was strictly the job of the HR person, and they would go to HR and say, we have to have a more diverse workforce. CEOs are putting more pressure on their companies to change. And by the way, any DEI effort has to come from the C-suite. It has to come from the top down. There's organizations like the Women Business Collaborative that what they did is they, they got together like 70 organizations that were trying to address these issues and they got them all under one umbrella to really initiate change, not just talk about. But expertise in this area is very desirable. And so if you don't know much about DEI and you're just thinking that's not, you know, that's HR, that's something that HR will handle for me. I am telling you that this is a very marketable credential. And so any expertise that you can get in DEI um, is going to absolutely enhance your career in the future because executives are expected to establish a diverse, equitable, and inclusive workforce. And let me tell you something. Millennials and Gen Z, especially Gen Z, now they're 28 and younger, but especially that generation, if they interview with you and they don't see themselves in your executive suite, they don't see themselves in leadership, they're not going to come and work for you. And so, you know, this is this is the way to get the best talent. As an executive, you're judged often on the people that work for you. Well, the people have to be diverse and there has to be equity and there has to be inclusion. So anything you can do to, to add this to your resume and CV. You know, this is an area that you've got to become very well versed in.